Okay, that's the TED again. Okay, now the uh, hard drive is installed in the second computer. I already have PCI Inspector on here, so we're going to open it up and give you a quick walkthrough on how this works. Now, first when you open it up, it's going to give you your you know, choose language. And we'll just go through that, whichever language you're using. Selecting English here. Now, here's the three options. You have recover deleted files, find lost data, and find lost drive. Now, if you're just looking to recover your data, you want to go for the second one here. If you can't even detect the drive, then you want to start with these down here. Um, it's kind of cut and dry. These right here, you don't click on these. You click on the little tabs on the side. When I first got this, you know, I was getting kind of maxed. I thought it didn't work, so I was trying to click on these. So yeah, I made, feel, made myself feel kind of stupid there. So we'll go find lost data. It's going to scan your drives, see what you have in there. Make sure you label uh, your main drive so you know which one is which. So these ones here, like you know, main drive, that's my primary drive. And uh, the local drive that I just installed, the crashed one, that will be in drive E. So I'm clicking on that. But you want to go into uh, hit your start menu, go to my computer, and uh, look at your drives just to make sure you're clicking on the right one. Then green check mark. Now it's going to go through, start collecting all the data, you know, see what all's on there, and give it a minute, and it'll start walking through all of it, find out what we want to save and what we don't. I've already gone through this drive with uh, another program. I haven't used uh, PC Inspector on this one, so I'm kind of interested to see how it's going to handle this because this drive is uh, really messed up. I got it out of a old computer that I picked up for 10 bucks at the Goodwill store. Just kind of an old habit. You know, just pick up these old bus computers and get them working again. I'll usually just give them away or you know, sell them back for you know, whatever I bought them for just for the, the hell of it. Something to do. But I'm always, it's just really bizarre the things that you find on these hard drives. So if you're donating an old computer or if you have a computer that's you know, broken or something that you just don't want to you know, mess around with getting fixed, please take out your hard drive before you get rid of the computer. Because if you have things on there you do not want people to see, odds are somebody like me is going to find this computer and I'm going to be going through all your pictures, your videos, because even if you deleted it, it's still there and I will find it. I normally don't bother looking at pictures and stuff anymore. I just delete them right off the bat because, I mean, some of it, some of the stuff I've seen in this computer is just disgusting. So I really don't want to see it. I just want to get the damn thing, you know, working properly again, and that's it. You know, just have some fun with it. So just keep that in mind when you have an old computer, or laptop, or whatever. Always pull out your hard drive before you get rid of it. Always. You know, just put them in a shoebox under the bed, whatever. The only way you can really get your data off these hard drives is take it outside in the driveway just beat the hell out of it with a rock or a hammer or whatever I mean just physically destroy the drive then your data will not won't be recoverable and I've known people put you know high powered magnets over them drill holes in them take them out back with a sledge take them out for target practice from the go to shooting range stuff like that I mean you hear about all these people in court like high profile or high profile court cases you know, they thought they, they were smart and deleted all their files off the computer. No, they're still there. All, right, all you're doing is just basically erasing the link to it. You know, the computer relabels it as uh, free space and just writes over it later. But, I mean, even if you write over it a couple times, you can still get a good portion of the data back. If you Well, sometimes you can't, but it just depends on how many times it's been rewritten. And there are programs out there. Um, they're pretty decent. You know, like a, a full military sweep, they'll write over the the entire drive like two or three hundred times and then you're just you'll be lucky if you can get much off there but sometimes you can still find something but you can get like a really high powered magnet you know put it close to the drive that'll destroy it but that better best safe than sorry you know just get a hammer beat the crap out of it good anger management so this is going to take a while retrieving all this information so I'm going to go ahead and stop it from here like I said I'll put the link for this on there just remember the name it's PC inspector file recovery. It's free software to use. Not too bad. If you have any questions or you're having some problems with it, let me know and I'll I'll find a solution for you, okay? Have a good one.